how do I go about inserting a joint into an existing joint chain? Let's kick things off by first creating a joint chain. So let's go ahead and come over here to a maximized side view and I'm going to move the view down and maybe zoom in just a little bit. Come up here to skeleton. Now you'll notice I'm under the animation menu set. So skeleton, joint tool, and let's create a quick mock-up of an arm. So let's start out with a shoulder, an elbow, and our wrist. Perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit enter to complete that joint chain. Now let's say that after creating this simple skeleton, I have decided that I'd like to go back in and add a couple more joints that would allow a bit more flexibility when I get around to skinning. For instance, perhaps I'd like a bicep joint in here which would allow better deformation and control over the geometry when the arm was to rotate about the shoulder when the arm is hanging downwards. Or let's say I'd like to add a joint right here into the forearm that would give me better control over my forearm when you go to rotate your wrist, you know, so that it looked a bit more realistic because of the one bone rotating over the other bone in our real arms. Well, how would we insert these joints? It's very simple. Again, from the animation menu set, let's go ahead and come up here to skeleton, and then we'll come down to the insert joint tool. You'll notice that there are no options for the tool, so we'll simply activate it. Now, how do we insert the joints? Very easy. You come down to the joint that is going to serve as the parent joint of the new joint you're about to insert. So since this first joint needs to be right here, so he's gonna be the bicep joint, its parent needs to be the shoulder. So I'm gonna click on the shoulder. So I'll simply click. Now I've not let go of the left mouse button. With it down, I simply drag. And then I can position this new joint that's being inserted into the chain. You'll also notice that while I'm holding the left mouse button down, I'm constrained. So if I drag left and right, nothing's gonna happen. I can only move in the direction from my parent to what used to be the child of the parent. So let's say I'd like my bicep joint to be about right there and I'll let go of the mouse button. Now, you'll notice that the tool is still active, so I can now come down here to my elbow, click, and drag out my forearm joint. So let's say I want my forearm joint to be about right there. I'll let go of the mouse button, and there you go. Now, if I press Enter, that's going to close out the tool. So I'm done with the tool. I could also just activate any other tool as well. So with that, that is going to conclude this How Do I Insert Joints Into Existing Joint Chains. Thank you.